Greetings. We are approaching an important milestone in our history. 75 years ago, Europe celebrated one of the most difficult and costly victories, the end of the Second World War and the defeat of Nazism. It was achieved at a great price with many lives lost during the years of war, which required the joint efforts of many nations to put an end to this military and humanitarian catastrophe. I joined the Royal Canadian Navy in 1941 at the age of 17. Young cadets like myself had no experience. We had to learn, adapt, fight, and survive. Many of my friends and relatives died, including many during the Arctic convoys. These were difficult and unpredictable times. What kept us going was comradeship, mutual support, and faith that better times would come. I am 96 today. I do not think I would witness another worldwide challenge in my lifetime. This time it is a battle with an invisible enemy which brings its own unique difficulties and unpredictability. But the enemy is common to us all. History shows that we can best conquer ch challenges by joining forces, and I believe that we should do so today. I know we will overcome this together and should aim to come out of this test more enlightened about how we should live, treat each other, and the world we live in as a result. I am aware that some people suffer the loss of loved ones. Others have to confront economic difficulties. With many feeling the discomforts of isolation and social distancing measures. These are common to wartime. One might say in the battlefield we were at least confronting a real enemy and success was very much dependent on the strategy and coordinated work of the combatants. But here and now it is mainly the same. We are all active participants in this theater of war and have to fulfill our part in it with some of us directly in the NHS front lines, saving lives. The British have always demonstrated their best in challenging situations and the response and volume of volunteers and donations raised recently for the NHS is a perfect illustration. Even Her Majesty the Queen acknowledged this. We will get through this together. Back to the special VE day. For years, I have been marching down Whitehall in London on Armistice Sunday to pay respect to the fallen and then retreat to the captain's cabin pub to raise a glass to their honor. It is terribly important to remember those who are no longer with us. On a V day, I would normally be taken to Normandy by the London Taxi Charity for military veterans, or would go to Lockyou, the departure point for Russian convoys, or be invited aboard HMS Belfast to meet other veterans and toast to friendship with my Russian colleagues. This time we are isolated and are unable to meet face to face. But there is always a solution. 
Let's mark this important occasion by joining our hearts and thoughts in wishes of peace, love, mutual support, and care for each other and this fragile world. By doing this, I believe we can make a positive difference. I would like to share with you one of my favorite quotations by a North American Cree Indian from the 19th century. He said, only when the last tree has died and the last river has been poisoned and the last fish has been caught, will we realize that we cannot eat money. Greetings to you all, and please remember to keep lopping. It is my favorite saying that I use to cheer myself up and others in the most challenging moments. It works for me, and I hope it does for you. God bless and happy VE Day to us all.